Hey, hey guys, what is up? My name is TechnoB Original. Welcome back to a new video. So, if you use Windows 10 or any other Windows version for that matter, you open up Task Manager and you see System is taking up maybe 500 megs or a gig, and you're playing games and you think, hey, I need a lot more RAM. It doesn't have to be games, maybe uh, editing videos or something like that. And you notice that this is taking up a lot of RAM, which you could be using for other programs. Uh, there's an easy way of fixing this. First, let me explain what this is and the difference between this and other things. So, the system exe right over here is the super fetch. Now, basically, what super fetch means is that it will copy executables for applications that you use quite often into a folder, uh, into the RAM, sorry, so that they can load quicker, so that you can open up certain applications quicker. So, let's say you open up maybe Chrome, Google Chrome, a lot. This will load Google Chrome into the RAM so that it can launch a lot quicker than if it were to launch off your SSD or hard disk. So, this is quite easy to disable and doing it won't really affect you. It'll only affect certain programs that you use a lot, uh, the startup times. But if you're fine with having longer startup times for more RAM, this is what you need to do. Now, the other thing is this can be confused with prefetch, which this has nothing to do with prefetch. If you have it disabled, I'd recommend you re-enable it. But basically, prefetch is a whole bunch of little small files that helps Windows start up quicker, which is enabled by default. But if you want to fix this, this is super fetch. So, how do you fix this? You go to your Windows PC, boot it up, hold start, press R, and inside of here, type services.msc, hit enter. Once it's open, you can sort by name, and then look for super fetch. Mine is right over here, and it'll tell you in the description what it does. Maintains and improves system performance over time. So what you want to do to stop this is right click, stop, and you'll notice inside of your task manager that the system should take a lot less RAM now and it should just be uh, for your desktop, etc. Keeping everything working. But if it's using a gig or something large like that, it will definitely drop quite a bit to maybe 20 or 30 megs, which will help you use games and multitask with the RAM a lot easier. A way to disable this permanently, if you never want to use it again, is right-click properties after you've stopped it. Right-click properties, where it says automatic, set it to manual or disabled, depending on which one you want. If you set it to disabled, it won't launch up with Windows, neither will it launch up with Windows with the manual. But um, if you set it to disabled and you want to start it up again, you'll have to set it back to manual or automatic and then start it up. But I'll just set it to manual and uh, I'll hit apply. Next time I start up my computer, the system process shouldn't be there at all, except for whatever it does maintaining the computer and everything else. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys. I hope you guys get a lot more RAM from this, and you guys get better maybe performance in games, multitasking with lots and lots of applications, maybe even improving how well Google Chrome and stuff like that works. So yeah, if you liked, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace.